Right all. Now that we've got all of those skins made, it's time for the front bit. So all of these ones. Hmm. This will be fun. So this panel is gonna go from there around, wrap around all of that. And then that's where all of the compound curve is gonna be. So we'll cut out a piece of tin and we'll um, we'll start having a go, see what it looks like. I kind of made a mistake. Uh, not, not with making this, but I, um, I sort of started making this and I did all of the bashing and none of the filming. Sorry about that. Um, I'll try and do all of the filming when I make this one. Okay, having learned a thing or two from the previous panel, this is, oh, I need a third hand here, here we go. All right, roughly sitting there, I've already marked out areas that need work, so I know that this area here, that area where my thumb is, and basically it sweeps down in a bit of a curve into this corner here but we'll have to work up here as well and probably a little bit more back this way eventually. So at the moment I'm just put, um, feeling my way along um, raising that up carefully so this corner here I can sort of see can you see him here? That's where it's touching at the moment so I need to lift that more and down you can see the other end down the bottom there it's touching there so that's that area there so we need to raise here and here and sweep that around. And we're using the not so severe um, radius at the moment, but I'll, ho I'll have to change that pretty soon. Because Actually, I need to do that now. Look, see, it's already touching that shape. So I need to change for the bigger size already. Okay, so I've been working this area and then back up to here again. So just and in introducing that sweep into here. So I just worked this area a little bit more. I don't know, probably concentrate on this area here, bring that out a little bit so we can match that curve uh, in the, um, oh, there you can see it. Match that curve there a little bit better, but we don't want to go concentrate on this area for too long. We still need to work this area and possibly this area down here a little bit as well. All right, change the die out for a, um, a less sharp of a radius because we just want to work just this little bit up here. So, um, get him in there and set it up. So we'll basically want to run it probably from about there. Probably won't take much either. Just bring it up a little bit. A very light pressure on the wheel at the moment so um, and like I said earlier on these ones we want to make sure these lines are very close to each other it just helps with cleanup later on all right let's see what that looks like how's that feel I think there's still a whoop here yeah I think we might give it a bit more of a hit there so I'll just run it through there a bit of a challenge to work out if there's a warp like here whether it's because it needs to raise a bit more or I've overstretched it like I showed you in a previous video um, but this one was because I'd worked here and here but not so much there so I mean you can pop that up um, does that feel there now that's a bit better let's give that a try okay just that little bit of wheeling up in this area here has helped that sit much nicer um, I still need to actually come around this way you can see in that top piece there where it's touching so that needs to be raised a little bit more and down there there's daylight there so between the two bits of daylight there is another area that needs to be raised again so I'm trying to juggle all this together so a bit more raising in this section, probably about there, I'll mark it anyway. And then same with probably down this area here. So we're back to raising this whole thing again. And then this time we'll have to be a bit careful and we might feather it out a little bit more up here. 
and um, again won't take much at a time do it slowly carefully um, but we're nearly there um, I think I might actually go this way on this one still light pressure I'll just work my way back this way a little bit like that, and then back again see how much it's raised there huh so I need to feather that out straight away and go back like that too far out this way with such a small radius die because it, it'll leave lines in here um, even with the light pressure and then we'll have to clean that out later on all right I'm starting to get a little more accurate and fine on the trims I've trimmed this this edge down a little bit more still got plenty of meat there I've also got a bit of a reference line going on now because I want to make it settle onto the buck a bit better I've marked this area here because, as you just saw, there's a little bit of a whoop there. So that tells me that this area here needs to raise out a little bit more and give a bit of a bit more attention. So as I was feeling around, I could that happened. Yes, I still got to roll that edge up there yet, but um, run your fingers across this way, and you can feel a little. It's not a dish, but it feels that way. So this area is raised up more there and this area here not that we did much there um, on that last little pass we only worked this area so I need to work in this area here a little bit more just to pop this back out and match that curve a little bit more again we don't want to go too far because I don't want this skin to go like that it's got to start to recede and fare into the rest of the cowling so a few passes in here not many just in here and I also think down this edge here we need that to wrap around and you can see how that rides in this area here so we need to probably raise this section just here there's my marker so probably just this little bit here so we'll just give that a bit of a bring that out a little bit that might, that should bring that edge in like that and um, See so how we go with that. Right, I changed the wheel back to a um, less um, severe radius because we don't want to put lines through the job. A little bit of tension. Oh, touching that. Right, a bit more. So we'll just work this area a little bit more. Just within that circle. And go up here and I'll work my way back again. Like that. And then overall we'll make it a bit bigger, so we're just working, working that area in a bit. Alright, that'll do for now on that. I just want to lift that area up just a little bit. I'll work my way down to that line there. what that does I'll probably end up having to bring that this way a bit more but we'll see what would how it looks at the moment this way a little bit all right let's have a look all right back on the on the buck there's my reference lines there sort of settled in this way a little bit yeah it's about where I want it so I can't press that in now. So only a few turns on just in this area has brought that up. There's a little dish there, but once we work this down, we'll see what that does. We'll probably end up having to work just a little bit there and maybe a little bit more here just to get that to sit better. Uh, that area, that's come around nice too, hasn't it? Look at that. So again, we didn't work too hard. All right, back again. Put him in there, lock it in. Um, a little bit more tension. I'll work down this area this time, like that. 
And now we'll go around like that. Probably have to raise this area a bit more, which will probably flatten this area out. So we'll have to raise that again as well, but we'll try and get that wolf out. How are we looking? That's a bit better. Um, maybe down here a little bit more as well. And so we'll just sort of swing that around like that, maybe. Which will come down to this area. Starting to get interference. And back up again to this area. I think that'll do for now. We'll see what that, oh, there's a thing there. Let's see if we can dress that out. I might have to change to a different die for that one, actually. All right, let's try. Uh, let's push that down like that. There we go. All right, so there's my mark there and there. Oh, that's feeling nice. That's feeling good. Probably need to raise that a little bit, but we'll worry about that later because that's going to change when that bit there moves. But that's looking good. Still a bit of work to do in this area. Um, this area here probably needs to be raised a little bit. That area there maybe needs something, especially down this area as well. But that's the basic shape. Edges all trimmed down, so it actually sits in the buck nicer. Um, I need every hole accounted for and pinned because the next task is to make this wrap around there. And I'm gonna use the buck as a die so we're going to form this piece over the over the buck by bashing like mad. Um, so this needs to this panel needs to be secured quite quite solid so that um, it doesn't move while I'm bashing. This worked last time on that panel, so um, hopefully it works again on this one. Ever heard the term metal basher? Well, 